Hey guys, welcome back to Tips and Tricks. This is Viren here. So in this video, we will talk about free Microsoft Office. And, you know, I will show you how to use that. But in the first place, why are we talking about free Microsoft Office? Well, lately I had some work on Microsoft Excel. And uh, since I don't have MS Office on my PC, I thought, well, why not go online and buy MS Office, maybe for $70 or $100, because this is for personal use. It won't cost much. But then I saw that uh, Office 365, uh, instead of buying it outright, Microsoft has made it uh, a subscription-based uh, usage. So, you know, I'll have to pay a monthly fee for using Office 365 or an annual fee. Now, Microsoft Office 2016 is still available, uh, which you can buy outright and install it on a PC, uh, just like the old days. However, uh, there are still drawbacks of buying it outright. Uh, you'll have limited support, uh, and uh, limited updates and all that and that's what I heard and that's what I saw on the internet also so uh, and then there are added advantages if you buy or if you use Microsoft Office 365 which is a monthly uh, based uh, monthly based software so let me first show you uh, both the options in dollar and in INR so in dollar these are the options uh, per year for Office 365 form if you are using personal then it's $69.99 dollars a year and with this, what you get is you are also getting one TB of OneDrive uh, cloud storage. And if you go to INR, now this, these are the options. You buy Office 365, um, it'll cost you 4619 per year and you can install it on up to five PCs or Macs or five tablets, whatever, which is basically, which basically comes to 460 per month. And then similarly, you have other options. So let's say I just want one for my personal home, so it will cost me 360 per month or 3629 per year. Now I don't mind taking this option which is 360 per month, uh, you know, if, if it's only for my personal usage. But then frankly, I don't have that much of usage. So I was thinking why even go for this option when Microsoft is giving you limited features and functionalities and anyways, before that. When you go for this option, Office 365, which is subscription based, apart from uh, the options that you see here where you will get 1TB of storage and all that, you will also get chat, support and uh, and if Office 365 comes up with latest versions or updates or anything, you'll be able to use them as well. Alright, now coming back to, I mean, I could go for this option, uh, which is 360 per month, but I was thinking I don't have that much of usage. So what do I do? So guys, what you can do is you, you still can access Office 365 absolutely free. However, it will have limited features and functionalities. So let me show you how to do that. So either you can go and you can Google saying that Microsoft Office, Office Online and it will basically take you to um, their cloud storage that is uh, that uh, it'll take you to office.live or whatever so let me just show you uh, the uh, I have bookmarked that URL so you will go to this location https onedrive.live.com so as you already know Skype was taken over by Microsoft so was LinkedIn and all that so when you go to this place uh, I'm already on I'm on it's showing I'm on OneDrive and in the free situation you are getting 5 GB of space I mean earlier we talked about that if you're going for subscription it gives you 1 TB but for free it gives you 5 GB now let me just try to open an Excel sheet uh, quickly it will ask me for my username now what are the usernames and uh, IDs that it can take you see here you see Skype also here so I'm gonna be using my Skype okay there you go so now I also have one um, Excel sheet saved here if you see here and the storage that I have here is just 5 GB which is for free 
Now, if you click here on the left side, you see these are the uh, features and functionalities that you can use. You can open a Word document. You can create a new Word document and actually you can save. Uh, after working on this Word document, you can actually save a local copy. So let's say this document, okay. Now I actually go to file and I can save it as I can download a copy of this on my PC, although I don't have Microsoft Office. I can download this as a PDF. All right, I'll go back here. So as you can see, I can open my Excel sheet. I can do lots of stuff here. So I can use Microsoft Office very legally, uh, you know, without uh, infringing any copyrights issues or whatever. So this. This has been given by Microsoft Office for free, 5 GBs. And you can use PowerPoint and what else? You have Skype, you can use Calendar, you can use Outlook also. Okay, I tried this uh, working on Outlook. Basically what it does is it actually synchronizes with my Gmail. So guys, um, I found this very helpful if you don't have much usage uh, maybe you know usage once in a while. I would rather say you know use this uh, Instead of buying office 365 going for a subscription based if you want to buy it outright We still have Microsoft office 2016 um, For me, I would say I would better use this uh, if my usage increases I would love to go to you know subscription based subscription based office 365 where I will have chat support and all that and the best part I will get 1 TB of cloud storage I mean, I can store store a lot of documents and access them while on the move. All right, guys. Hope this was uh, informative and help you. Um, if you already knew this, uh, that's fine. You know, good to have a refresher or maybe pass it on to some other folks. All right, guys. Thank you for staying back. Thanks. Um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like this video, hit a like and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.